Is it white rhino or black rhino? Black. 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 Black rhino. Yeah, copy that. Uh oh. Do I go? Good morning internet, it is 7.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am still at Itosha Heights here in Namibia. Well, the last video was quite an adventure and I think today is not going to be any different. Well, actually no, it is going to be different because today will all be about the rhino. So in this area they have white rhino, which is endangered, but they also have black rhino. And black rhino is critically endangered. They are almost extinct and they're working super hard here to protect those black rhino. They have a 24-7 anti-poaching unit here operating and today I'm going to learn a little bit more about that. Um, some parts of this anti-poaching operation are obviously sensitive. Uh, we don't want to give an advantage to the poachers by showing them exactly how they work of course. So I won't be able to show you um, everything that they do but hopefully part of it and hopefully we're going to get to see some black rhino um, although on the other hand the black rhino are besides that they're critically endangered they are also highly highly aggressive so not sure about how I feel encountering a rhino while riding my savannah so um, yeah let's see how the, what the day will bring So Itosha Heights is a what they call custodian of the black rhino. So here they not only have black rhino and white rhino, but they also have a very successful anti-poaching uh, program. And today I am joining part of them, part of the program. Um, so Esso is just taking me now to the airstrip. And then we get to see uh, a little bit of how they fight poachers from the air. So they both have an operation on the ground and in the air and they work together. Good morning. Good and you? Yeah. All right, those were the ground troops patrolling for uh, any signs of uh, poachers you look for rhino spore yeah, or poachers this white rhino yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also white rhino. I walk this way, no? Or this way? Yeah. I had the nails in front. Yeah. yeah. Here is my ride. <laughs> this is how we hunt rhino poachers. Okay, stop for the blade to stop. This leg first. Yeah. Like. 
can you read me? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, okay, good. Perfect. I'm just quickly going to pre-rotate and then we take off. off. Uh, your harness and your um, helmet is fixed. Yes. Everything is good? Everything All right. is good. Good.
but of course only the black rhinos. The white rhinos, they are strictly grazers. off again well I am back with my savannah wow that was just what an experience what an experience unbelievable I am so lucky so so lucky to see black rhino with a baby two white rhino three lion elephant everything fantastic and it's been very effective so they work closely together with the police a special force of the police and the army actually so the government of namibia is also really involved in the anti-poaching and quite recently they caught several poachers and they are now in jail so also that whole process of prosecuting went quite quickly um, so first they will find the poachers with the gyro and then they have ground forces that will come in and when they find poachers then they will call the the police and the army and uh, last time that they did uh, within an hour uh, they were here so that's absolutely fantastic so that way they managed to capture these poachers and bring them to justice because these rhino there's just so few left and they really need to be protected and oh and what you could see is that black rhino with the baby, what we saw, it looked like that one uh, was dehorned. So that's another thing that they do is that they bring in special teams of uh, vets and I'm not sure, wildlife specialists, I'm not sure how to call them. And they dehorn the rhinos, which of course is sad, but it probably saves their life because if they don't have their horn, they, they're worth nothing for the poachers. We wait. Quickly there. I'm just checking which one is this one. Then I'll call you guys up. Okay. Two rhino. They're really close. Well spotted. You see them, huh? It's gonna come slowly in. Is it white rhino or black rhino? Black. 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 Black rhino. If you just come until on my right hand side, then you go a little bit forward. Yeah, copy that. Black rhino are really aggressive. They are known to viciously charge their own droppings. So I have to be really careful with these ones. Tell you when you approach, you just switch off your engine? Yeah. Look, there they are. There they are, there they are. You see them? See them? Oh wow, amazing. Full horns. That's a black rhino. How old is the young one, you think? That one can be two, two years now. Two years. They can get a calf after 15 months, then oh. they get a single calf. From getting a single calf, it will be with the mother three to four years. Then the mother chase it out. Because they are solitary. Uh-oh. Do I go? <gasps> that gave me a fright. 
But you, you scared, you did something. Or? No, when he was walking or stepping on the, because they, 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 they had the, the, the footprint. When, ah, he, when he walked. And then they ran yeah, off. Yes. But so did they, you think that he was going to charge? Yes. He looked like yes, it. Yes, he looked like he's going to charge. Yeah. It's quite uh, <laughs> unfortunate that he just ran away. <laughs> and my bike was off? Yeah. Exactly. I, I almost like started it to ride away. <laughs> they should have stayed or not? Yeah, you should have stayed. Yeah. You should have stayed. Because when it doesn't when it, it don't when it don't move, then it's fine. But if you move too much, yeah. then they can hear the vibration. Yeah. They can sense you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I've also seen videos where they, they charge a standing steel car. Yes, they bumped standing steel cars. Yeah. Like they roll it over. Yeah. So why would they not attack me then? For now, they the one that charge, the, the one attacked because they, they they were they were trying to charge. You could see them. Yeah. How they were moving yeah. a little bit towards us. Yeah. But luckily, they could just stop. Then when they had like okay, the the the, the, the body was going towards them. Yeah. Then they stopped. Then they they ran back. Such amazing. You are sitting on the bike. A rhino close to you, 20 meters. Imagine that. It's crazy. Honestly, this day is in a savanna. This day is crazy. Yeah, yeah. You're saying that he's not having light, so we have to go back now. <laughs> okay. It's done for the day. <laughs> done. I've, I've, I've seen them all. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I'd I, I would die two times today, so it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, for, for a second that rhino was about to charge from 20 meters distance. It's an absolute madness. Where do we go? This way? Yeah. I had charging elephant, charging rhino. Well, the lions didn't charge, but they were they were pretty scary on their own. Whee! <laughs> what a day! I cannot believe that I'm doing this. Oh, there's a zebra. Oh. Welcome to my life. Welcome to Itchy Boots. This is what I do. <laughs> oh. oh my. here at the safari hook lodge i just it's just difficult to grasp all the things that i saw today and the rhino and just being face to face with a black rhino and it is just quite a hair raising experience i have to say and also seeing them from the air and yeah it just makes me feel so lucky to see them especially just thinking about that they just might get extinct and yeah, it's just incredible how the people, the men on the ground here actually risk their lives on a daily basis to protect these animals. And uh, it's amazing what they're doing. Um, but I just, yeah, I just heard that they, it's a very costly operation. So the government does help us. Eh? So if they find poach poachers, then they call in the army and they call in the police and they'll come and arrest the poachers. But the initial finding of them, that's that's on, on this part so that's Itoshi Heights doing that and it's so expensive that they told me that for the next six months they have funding and afterwards like it's just the money's gone and they're really struggling and and well everybody's struggling it's just been a really tough year but yeah here it kind of means that if they can't do it if they can't continue then that might be the end of the black rhino and that's just wow, it's just really sad so yeah food for thought um, so yeah, I just feel super happy that I got the opportunity to see them and um, I'm absolutely shattered though. I'm so tired. Uh, it's just been some really hectic days. Um, but yeah, some of the most amazing experiences I ever had and I will not forget this. Um, yeah, really incredible. I don't know what else to say. Crazy and yeah, special, Mas mostly special I think. 
Um, so that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video and if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.